Heads up. If you have kids around, parental advisory is <laughs> yes. in effect. This, this, this is the Bonus Bone Podcast with Lamont and Tinelli. It's like water torture. <laughs> Baby Huey. <laughs> Jasta. <laughs> Welcome back to the bonus no, bump. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the bonus bump podcast. Chapter Lamont, Tanelli, Baby Huey, and we are talking about TV watching this week. Hollywood is all up in arms. It's yeah. getting cray cray. We had the writer strike. At I'm first, with you, writers. And, I'm with you, performers. And now we've got Screw the SAG you, after. you, management. <laughs> it's we've it, it's getting really dicey. I don't know how closely you guys have been following all of this, but it's really really interesting. And some of the actors that are coming out on social media and just letting a rip. It's like wow. Um, the so, thing yeah. I love is they're giving the salaries of the yes. of the big head honchos. Yes. The studios who are saying we can't afford to pay for this and that. And the writers, some of them are making like 60,000 a year, 67,000. And these guys are pulling home like 256 million a year. Bob and you make a Bob really Iger. good point. Yeah. Um, it, 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 people think when they think about actors in SAG after, they think of like a Tom Cruise or a Brad Pitt. Right, right. But no. a huge portion of SAG after, which is my union, are people that, that barely make ends meet. Right. So you're not fighting for Tom Cruise because you're seeing all those comments like, oh, like Brad Pitt needs more money. No, yeah. but it's all no, behind the scenes people, exactly right? Exactly, that as well. Uh, and also, AI is a big part of this mm -hmm. because one of the key points is they want to scan actors' faces yeah. for like 350 bucks and then use your likeness for the end of time. Right. And so we've got to get some parameters around what AI means and how it's used or not used. Screw you, management. So it's, it's, a, it's really all the screw the, AI. The streaming right. deal, right? Like yeah. the the percentage what they get kicked back after movies get released on streaming. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying they're not making any money. Yeah. Meanwhile, the head guy's making two hundred and fifty million. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot there's a lot going on in this. I mean, we can anyway. dive deep. But anyway, because Lamont wants to move on, clearly. Yes. <laughs> I've got <laughs> shit I got to do. Okay, because we don't. We're just, we got nothing going <laughs> right. on. Uh, anywho, we're talking about TV. What do you watch and who do you watch it with? This came up because one of my friends on Facebook uh, last week was really pissed off to the point she felt cheated on, and that's key, because her husband watched a TV show without her that they are supposedly watching together. Oh, boo freaking And she who? called it TV cheating. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I, I thought it was a very funny concept because we all have these shows, or I thought we did. We all have these shows that we watch with our partners, loved ones, Can whatever. Can you relate to that? Big time. Jay and I only watch, basically only watch TV together. What? So the nights wow. he, yeah, the nights that he has rehearsal, band rehearsal, mm -hmm. I won't watch. Right now we're watching, and just like that, Sex and the City um Reboot you make or your husband watch I don't Sex make him. I don't make him watch anything. He likes it. He loves okay. it. Okay. Right. Um. So we're watching just like that. So whenever he's he's at rehearsal, I won't watch it. I'll watch something on YouTube or something right. that like I would want to watch. Mm -hmm. Um. And if he watched it without me, I would be bummed, and I think vice versa. Yeah. Out of here. I would because then it screws up your whole system. Like, right. I, he's seen this episode and I haven't seen this episode. And now, does he rewatch an episode? So I'm caught up or do I have to find time do to I watch it by myself? What about, what, what about saying, hey, I watched that last episode. I'd love to watch it with you because it was a great but episode. But then he has to find time to to watch it without me because now I've, it, it screws no, watch up it the whole. Them. Watch it with him. Again. Yeah. Oh, I That's have to watch I do it with twice. Lisa. But does he talk to the TV? Oh, he's the worst. <laughs> so he's if the he watched worst. it in advance, and then would talk to the TV, wait till this scene's coming up. And, and, oh, totally. Right. And you know what's funny about Sex in the City? I'm just going to call it that because that's what everybody knows it as. Jay is delicate about that show. Like, if there's like a lot of sex, he gets like, oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> it cracks me up. Oh, he is going to be so pissed <laughs> at you for sharing these details. It's funny. I mean, he just, I don't know why it's Sex in the City. It has a lot of sex in it and yeah. a lot of like, whoa moments. What's the new name for that show now? And just like that. And just like that. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> show. Uh, so anyway, so we have a couple, we're all also, on the opposite end of the spectrum, watching Righteous Gemstones. Has anybody else watched that? Yes, I watch it. Oh, my God. Are yeah. you watching the new season? A uh, bit of it. <laughs> a, a bit of it. I almost fell out of bed last night laughing at that show. That is so inappropriate. So we right. run the gamut. But, yeah, I would I would consider it TV cheating. I think it's a no-go. I wouldn't do it to him, and I I really don't think he would no. do it to me. No. Yeah. Really? Do what you about you, Tanel? Uh, well, TV cheating is um, might be part of it. Yeah. But like I said, I always say, hey, I saw the last episode. And we don't consistently watch something together all the time, but yeah. there have been a couple of shows where we're like, hey, we got to watch it together. Yeah. But if I'm out one night or doing something or, or and she watches it, we'll just watch it together. And the then next you'll time. watch it again. Yeah. So you're all caught yeah. up. Okay. 
All right, that's kind of cheating, but it, not you, really. But you've you've owned and up. And then to it. we have two distinct. I mean, so there's stuff we like, but then we have different tastes too. Like I like the more action drama thriller, yeah. and she's I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> The romantic comedies. <laughs> well, no, she likes the softer <laughs> stuff. She loves English stuff. Like, oh, uh, what was Bridgerton? it? Uh, Bridgerton? Huh? Maybe Bridgerton. What uh -huh. was the I other one? I can't stand that stuff. Yeah, I haven't seen that. There but... was one, Doubt and Abby. Oh, Doubt and Abby. Oh, my yeah, God. She was, was all over that. Yeah. Right. And I couldn't watch it. I can't okay. watch that stuff. See, Jay and I are very similar in our watching habits, except I like true crime and he's not super crazy about my true wife crime. is into the true he'll crime watch it with too. me but it's yeah. like he's he thinks i'm disturbed i mean which is fair <laughs> right yeah we were You're watching something, something and we were watching something the other catching killers catching killers great show on netflix and he was like man this is really messed up babe like yeah. i know it's fascinating you're not though. looking for ideas are you no. <laughs> so no. the last thing we watched together was uh barry barry was good oh great show phenomenal mm -hmm. show yeah it's well over written. well written well acted the mm -hmm. best was the kung fu child Oh, the, the yes. <laughs> From that, the, I actually. It's like a spider monkey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Watching the rest of this series, I was disappointed because I was so in love with that show. Yeah. Nothing compared to that one. It was great. Great show. Yeah. But God. nothing as great as the Kung Fu Girl. Okay. <laughs> Do you and your wife watch together? Are you kidding me? I don't think we've watched anything together since Friends when it was what? on. Seriously. No way. And, and I'll tell you why. We have complete opposite ends of what she watches all those reality shows. Oh, okay. Yeah. You couldn't pay me. Yeah, to watch no, that. not the reality I mean, yeah. stuff. It's, that's a waste of time. I mm -hmm. will sometimes watch the Kardashians and oh. I and Jay, oh. I'll kind of force feed it to Jay. And he, you can tell it doesn't hold him because he'll get up and like make coffee or he'll get Good. up and do this or whatever. He's yeah. not a You know what Travis Barker? He lo he does love Travis. And he doesn't know Travis no, Barker. No, what he says, he, oh yeah, of course. He's married to Courtney Still now. Wouldn't watch it. Um, he does think that Travis and Courtney stole our style. <laughs> he really? <does> <laughs> yeah, okay. He's like, we were Travis and Courtney before Travis and Courtney. No, yeah. I will tell you this. When it comes to TV viewing in my house, yeah. my wife will watch everything downstairs. Once that TV is on, I go upstairs and I turn my <laughs> TV on. That makes me sad. There's no cuddle time. No. There's no TV watching popcorn. Well, you know how long time. I've been married? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's called begging time, yes. Well, I mean, Jay and I, we've been together 17 years, which is not right. nothing. Right. But we still, you know, cuddle up and no. what's it called? Uh, it, Netflix for and TV chill? shows, you couldn't pay me. Uh, I watch sports. Okay. Yep. She has no desire to watch yeah, sports. Yeah, see, Jay's not a sports guy. I that watch helps. NHL Network. Oh. You think you? my wife would sit down yeah. and watch the NHL Network to find out who signed this guy and who signed that guy? Yeah. No, wouldn't happen. I like The Simpsons. I like watching Family Guy. Yeah. The really goofy kind of lowbrow. Yeah, lowbrow <laughs> shows. She watches murder shows, I think, to get ideas to knock me off. I don't know. If anything doubt that. ever happens to me, just look at her TV <laughs> viewing history. <laughs> So on the rea on the reality, she loves reality shows. You were saying, yeah. Uh, but so does she think they're still not scripted? Because I can't believe after twenty years of reality shows, yeah, people think that they're completely unscripted or not planned. Oh, or she doesn't think that because every time it's on, I go, you know, they scripted that show exactly. <laughs> the exactly. arguments, the conflicts. Take a look at the, the end of the show where it says writers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? exactly. They're yeah. all B actors trying to get a start in oh. Hollywood. There, nobody knows about them, and they just right? come off as. Which is one of the reasons why she won't watch TV with me because I ruined the TV show for her. Well, they're well, they're all just trying to get famous. I mean, right? that that crew is just even trying going to get, back to the dating game back in the 70s, 60s, yeah. 70s. Oh yeah, Real yeah I used world. to like that show. <laughs> <laughs> Real World and Road Rules too. Yeah, in the 90s and MTV. Oh, I mean that changed the game yeah. for TV. Period. Real yeah, that's it. Real the, World. Never was a watched. Big, it. That was a no. big no game desire. changer. But it also changed MTV for the worst, in yeah. my opinion. Right? Um, oh, absolutely. I, I killed Jay's uh, Santa Claus the other day whenever I was talking about Naked and Afraid. You guys ever watch that? <clears throat> we don't watch it hardly anymore, but he was so sad because he thought it was super, super, super real. And then, of course, they got in trouble because, like, there was, like, catering out there. And exactly, stuff. right? <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't believe it. I was like, babe, it's a news story. Like, this is an yes. issue. He was like, no, no way. There's no way. He really Big likes news. To, He likes to believe in that stuff. Like, if he's in it, he is it in it yeah um okay so you live in a house with your brother and your dad yeah do you guys watch stuff together so my brother tommy and i we watch dark side of the ring every tuesday night dark wrestling on vice tv uh, I've, I've seen that before oh, i love that show i haven't seen that but vice is top of the line i yeah. will tell you stuff. i'm ashamed to admit it but i have watched a few of those 
uh, on Vice. It's really? great. No, it's a great documentary. They talk about series. how the wrestlers are murdered yeah, or killed it, off. Yeah, talk about different tragic stories wow. with different wrestlers. So you or watch events. out with Tommy. Yeah, so we watch There's that one together. There's enough tragic stories in wrestling to it's fill a up a whole four, TV show? Four Is it a con- now. conspiracy? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a conspiracy. All the talk. guys doing yeah. roids and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Now, let me ask you this, though. That's a thing. Yeah. If Tommy watched it without you, would you feel cheated on? No, not necessarily, but he, he, he'll he come to me. He's like, hey, you ready to watch it or you want to watch it? It's appointment viewing for you guys. Like, like, yeah, last week's episode was one he was looking forward to. So. Yeah. And what would he do if you said, no, I'm not watching that with you? <laughs> He'll be like, all right, I'm going to go watch it then. Yeah. <laughs> right. we're, we're not that, like, heated with. Uh, but right. it's one you bond over. Yeah, it's one we purposely watch together. Yeah. Because he likes watching Giants games and a bunch of stuff on yeah, his own. Yeah, he's like me. Yeah, so I let Move him Tommy do- into my house. I'll let you keep my wife. <laughs> so do that. But my dad and I, we have like a bunch of stuff we watch together. That's cute. Like my, what? My dad loves going to Flavor Town with Guy Fieri. Oh, that's I yeah. watch Guy D- Diner Drive Ins and yeah. Dives. He loves that show. So. I'll do some binge watching on that because so- it just rolls. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. So we'll watch like two hours, three hours of that, and he'll get inspired to wants to eat something and stuff. <laughs> but uh, 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 we were also watching the History Channel yesterday. The was it the the food that built America? Oh, I've watched that many ah, that's times. A good show, that's too. a good show. We're yeah. watching the Which one was it? The chicken sandwich. Oh, the chicken sandwich. Oh, <laughs> that is a good one. It was great. Like I didn't know Chick Fil A yes. started it. Uh huh. Because KFC was bone in. It right. Was two different things. I was like, oh, I okay. prefer the bone in. Yeah. Oh, boy. exactly. <laughs> are there any shows that are not wrestling or food that you watch? <laughs> <Yes>. So <laughs> no, absolutely none. <laughs> My dad and I we love Peacemaker on HBO Max or just Max now. The with John Cena, the superhero. I gotta check this one out. This looks fun. Who is a wrestler? Though. Yeah, with James Gunn. Oh, that's true. Yeah, right. That is there is a wrestling. See, there's straight. that angle coming yeah. back. Yeah, straight, Paul. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> my dad and I, we watched the first season of The Boys uh, on Prime. On Prime. Amazon Prime. That, so, you watched that, didn't you, Lamont? The, the Boys. Yeah, The Boys. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know if he was really into it, so I have not watched second season yet. Because you've been waiting Lamont on it. Raved about it. Yeah. 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 Because I feel like I'll be cheating on my dad See? watching that show. Yeah. So I got to ask him, get his permission. Is okay, I move on. Now, Jay and I have done that before where I've been into a show that he's like, meh. And so I've done that same thing. I think that's good. As long as you tell him you're going to cheat. And the other one. <laughs> as long as you tell him you're going to cheat. <laughs> the other Can one, I write that down? That's yeah. okay. Use in other areas? <laughs> but as, far, as far as movies, we watch all the John Wick movies together. You and your dad. Yeah, he yeah. loves the John Wick movies. So now this is what's funny. My mom watches shows and then tells me about them as if we watch them together, but we do not. <laughs> right. Like she'll fill me mm. in she'll, on she'll she'll be a ruiner. Oh yeah. Oh she she'll, will ruin. Well, friggin- she'll talk about like the dancing spoiler. with the stars. Well, no you're interest. never gonna watch that. No, no interest, but she will go deep with stuff that I'm like. Got it. Like, I have yeah. no idea. I'm almost half tempted to watch that stuff just to ha- be able to connect to bond with bond over? Yeah, kind of. All right. So then the, let's take the topic to one more thing before we go. Favorite shows of all time. I'm being a little, like, needy right now because I need a new show. Because And just like that is almost over. And so is Righteous Gemstones. Well, Barry everything, there. everything that yep. I'm going to throw at you, you have watched already. All right. Let me, let me try to guess. Ozark. Ozark, which yes. is my favorite of all time. Yeah, uh, that's actually probably my top three. Maybe not my favorite. What's your favorite? Sopranos. Oh, mm. see, I've never seen. Sopranos. You? Oh, you have to watch it. Never I've never seen. seen I've never seen. Everybody one always says Sopranos and Wired. Yeah. and Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking, Breaking Bad Breaking was Bad. phenomenal. I actually and like Better Call Saul more than Breaking Bad. You do? I loved yeah. both of them. Sons of Anarchy. Uh, I've never seen I never that watched either. that. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, my brother that watched that. He raved about. I it. love it. Yeah, it's Lisa crazy. watched that too. I couldn't get into it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um, where like Breaking Bad and Sons of Anarchy because they kind of feel like they've got a vibe. Breaking Bad over is better over than over Sons. Yeah. What I remember whenever I went from Breaking Bad into Better Call Saul, yes. I was sad when that whole thing ended. I was like, oh man, I felt like deflated. It was so great. Ozark was the best of all time. Uh, People say Sopranos is the best of all time. Yeah, I love. So you got to check it out. Is there access to watch all of this? Yes, yes. on on HBO Max. Max. Yeah, yeah, you can go back to the beginning and watch my, all of them. My son That's Kyle just do started it. watching it because I was telling him. He goes, "I've never seen it." And wow. when he was vi- back visiting, I think he polished off one season. He goes, "You were right." And I said, "By the way." It doesn't really start getting good until season two. And mm-hmm. it still holds up, even though it's, oh, how yeah. old is it now? It's 20 years? Yeah, 20, plus. 20 yeah. years. Maybe something mm-hmm. like that. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Tony and his gumars. Yeah. I don't, but see, then you guys can't spoil anything. Polly Walnuts. <laughs> it took me 40 years to get to Star Wars, so, you know, it takes uh, me a while. So. I used to watch, watch The Mandalorian. 
Now no. that's one I let I quote unquote I let Jay watch without me because I didn't know if I would get into it or not. So yeah, he's I'm been watching. It takes place five years after Return of the Jedi. Oh, okay. So, no. Right. <laughs> no. <I'm laughs> a, what? Spinning facts. Listen, I went 25 years without seeing the first Star Wars. Right. I finally watched it when my kid was invited to a birthday party. Yeah. And it was a Star Wars birthday party. It was like the second or third one. Yeah. So I figured, well. I'll just go to my wife goes, no, you've never seen Star Wars and made me watch Star Wars. All of them or just the first one? Just the first one. So you've still only seen the first one? First one and the one I went to at the movie. I think I saw the third one too. See, the, the second one's probably the best. Yeah, second regardless, one is pretty good. Which one is that? Return of the, the Jedi? Mm -hmm. Empire. Uh, oh, Empire. I don't Empire know the names back. Them. Empire's my favorite. I, I yeah. can't ever keep them straight because That's the thing is, is I yeah. watched them in like all during COVID I went to Star Wars University yeah. and I watched all of them at once so now I don't it? have yeah it was really cool I mean they're great movies they hold up um, but just to know all the references and be able to have conversations with people or about Jay it. making a Millennium Falcon oh my god Jay made a Lego <laughs> Millennium Legos? Falcon this yeah. weekend like a like a big daddy in one weekend uh, two weekends. Right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but no, he really, he really went to That's town. impressive. It was very impressive. And if uh, well, it ever gets you, dropped, he will cry. I'll tell so you bad. the most impressive part of that is the fact that my kids would ask me to help them make like bionicles and, oh, and yeah. Legos. I am the freaking worst. At that. Are you really? Oh, I, well, I am not mechanical whatsoever. I have no imagination with that. Yeah. I would always have an extra part or two and then have to friggin' start disassembling. Crap. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, my kids hate oh. it. They don't even ask. They didn't even ask me at the age of five or six. They were just like, oh, let's, not ask, let's ask mom to do this. They're like, never mind, yeah, dad. Exactly. Forget about it. I actually like Legos a lot because you, it, it's something that you can go from beginning to end and there's no opinion on it. It's just you have your work in front of you. Because we work in such an opinion opinionated industry. Uh -huh. You know no, what I'm don't. saying? Oh, boy. Oh, I boy. would just make my it's own. like no one can argue with what <laughs> when, I just finished. When you have like a tub of Legos, I would we make every single one of my spaceship look like blocks. <laughs> <laughs> right? Why not? Just like a little freaking thing. Oh, this is my my smaller block. <laughs> air, Start air a machine. new trend. This yeah. is my block tower. Yeah. This is my block exactly. airplane. This is <laughs> Blockville. <laughs> Blockville. Welcome to Blockville. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I have I, I have a list. What were you rattled off a couple that I wanted? So I'm going to start with Sopranos. So if, if do you remember what was it? The end of the second season, the final episode of uh, Ozarks is what is that when the uh, female lawyer gets uh, uh, careful. I, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, it I, is. Yes, it is. Not, no, I think that's the third. That's is a that third. The third season. Yeah, the end of the third. Yeah. So if you like that episode or the way that ended, you oh. got to watch Banshee. Yeah, no, hey, I what was Narcos it. like? Narcos is supposed to be great, but I just I couldn't get into it. I tried like three episodes, but it's, it's very slow. Really, but it's 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 fascinating, and it's uh, it, I mean it's really good, but I just never had the interest to continue it. Now I can get into a gruesome show if it's it not always gruesome, like Ozark. That scene in particular. <laughs> uh, I almost said blew me away. That <laughs> it was really well, we gnarly. Had that on tape. But I <laughs> but I got through it because it's not always like that. Like for me, Game of Thrones oh, was you couldn't pay me to it watch that. It was gratuitous. It was like I, I never can't watched an episode. Hold. No, it wasn't the violence. I couldn't understand. They even had their own language. Oh, Gianna, my best friend, couldn't be more into it. She oh. like speaks a language. She like had a map. And she was like showing me where all these people lived. It was insane. What about succession? I heard that's a good one. I don't know. I've that watched it a few times. Yeah, that's just got good reviews. You know yeah. what? I will tell Billions. you the two shows that make me laugh every single time. I still watch it over and over and over again. Two and a Half Men with Charlie Sheen on it. Oh, yeah. I can watch that like crazy. And also, uh, what is it? Everybody Loves Raymond? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. oh, Everybody Loves Raymond is one of my all-time favorites. I've never I seen an episode marathon of Marathon last night again. Really? Well, yeah. Seinfeld. You ever get into never Seinfeld? Never saw an episode oh, of Seinfeld. You've never seen Seinfeld? Never. Wow. Never. Start with Seinfeld. Do, do I have access to that? Is that uh, on like I think so. uh, Netflix? Oh, now. just put on TBS. Yeah, that's oh, all yeah, it right? runs on but TV see, yeah, 24 I, I am anal. I have to watch everything from beginning to end. I can't Pe jump around. It drives on, me nuts. It's on Netflix now. It was on, on Netflix. It was on Peacock. Okay. See, the show I don't the get. Man had drinking. The, <laughs> I know a lot of the references. <laughs> yes. because, uh, the show I never get tired of is The Office. I could watch The Office until. Oh, The, the Office. I can watch oh, that as well. God. Yeah. There's no funnier show to me. Period. What are you giggling at? I'm just thinking of like different sci-fi references. <laughs> <laughs> He's in his own world my, my over there. Bro, my brother went to No Soup for You last night. Oh, I oh, I lied. I've seen that episode. That's the only episode yeah. I've ever seen. 
No, no soup, soup for you. you. The soup, uh, yeah. what was it? Soup Nazi or something like Nazi. that? Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Um, I was watching something the other day that, oh, it was The Office. <laughs> it was The Office and it was the fat suit episode. Do you remember that one? Yes. I was like, man, some of these episodes now in 2023 where people are so freaking delicate, they haven't aged well because it was pretty offensive. I mean, I laughed my ass off at it, but it was pretty offensive. As a fat man, I thought it was offensive back then, but I still laughed and at it. I still laughed at it. I <laughs> exactly. Mean, Steve As an Carell. Italian, I never watched The Sopranos because of the, <laughs> the mafia link and the whole um, stereotypicalness of the uh, Sopranos. One of the best shows that never made it anywhere was Vinyl. Did anybody else watch I Vinyl? I watched it. That was a great show. Yeah, that was a great show. show. And then it got canceled. There's nothing worse than a do show like that. Seinfeld then Curb. Curb your enthusiasm. Oh, Curb your enthusiasm yeah. is spectacular. I've I haven't really kept up on that though. Me neither. Yeah. I watched in the beginning, but well, not because really. it was really tough to find. And then they start playing it really late at night when we go to bed early. And they have long breaks too, right? Like yeah, they're just that's really what, long that's breaks what kills. between the interruption. Yeah, yeah. We're about it. to see a real damn long break and a lot of stuff between <laughs> yeah. the writers and the actors union. Oh, it's give us a chance to catch up on everything. That's a good way to think about it. Right. Uh last and a good one. way to end it. Entourage. Oh, Entourage, great, great show. show. One of my favorite shows of yeah. all time. I might just go back and watch that from the beginning all the way through. Ari Gold. One? Ari Gold. Look it up, bitch. Look <laughs> <laughs> it up, bitch. All right, that's enough TV talk. If you uh, have something you want us to see, I actually would love to hear. I get, I've, I I've, have received some oh, of the best it. shows. I am going to go on the screen. On Oh, oh uh -oh, look, look at this. <laughs> That's why he's not allowed on the, the screen. screen. <laughs> on YouTube, if you want to see that action right there, geez, Louise. That's the clip for the week. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, John, have fun with that one. He's like, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, hit us up. 888-303-BONE is the uh, bone text line. I'm always on it so you can let us know. And make sure you subscribe to 1077 The Bone on YouTube because we're now there every yes. week and it's super Leave fun. Leave a comment on the YouTube video. There you go. There yeah, you go. Scissors. <laughs> scissors. We'll end on that. All right. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>